want to highlight right at the beginning here some things that are really important for you all to be aware of. The reason we're doing this right now, and you're going to feel us stress the urgency of this right now, is because starting in 13 months, one year and one month from now, on July 1st, 2023, Google is going to sunset universal analytics, which means that the current analytics, Google analytics properties that you have set up will no longer collect and process data as of July 1st, 2023. Now, Google said that you'll be able to access historical data for some time period at that point. I believe up until now, they've said it'll be at least six months with no exact finite time period. But eventually, uh, the, the understanding that we have is that we'll even lose the ability to see the historical data inside of our existing analytics properties at some point. Now, you might be thinking, okay, well, that is 13 months from now. I have over a year to get ready for this. So why are we acting like there's a whole bunch of urgency right now? So listen up. The urgency comes from wanting to maintain some, some year over year data inside of the analytics platform. So on the next slide, we're going to highlight that in order to maintain that year over year data, we need to get GA4 set up by the end of June this year. Okay. I'm going to spend a, another couple minutes on this, stressing this and, and probably beating a dead horse. But because Google is sunsetting universal analytics next July, if you don't have GA4 set up, Google Analytics 4 set up by the start of July this year, you will lose the ability to compare year over year data in platform. You'll have one year's data inside of Universal Analytics, the next year's data inside of GA4. And at some point, that data inside of Universal Analytics will even become inaccessible. And so it's really, really important that as an advertiser, as a, as a business with any sort of website, you're implementing Google Analytics 4 now by the end of June 2022, so that this time next year, you're not left with a whole bunch of regrets now that you're seeing the impact of not having year-over-year -year data to compare.